And what this says is, uh, you gotta get your crew on the sails during a storm, or you risk sailors and supplies being swept overboard and the hull taking a beating. Okay, so we get the crew on the sails during a storm. All right, all right. Uh, so sails, I guess, are, are a pretty important thing to do. So the actions we have right now are hungry crew, chart a course, mend the sails, uh, net debris, talk to the crew, captain's quarters, and sail. So sail is obligatory. We have to go there. So there you go. I place one in there. Uh, so mend the sails seems to be really important, right? So I'll put two of my people in there. And I will also go, uh, so I don't need to go here. Net debris doesn't seem too important. Talk to the crew, not that important. Captain's quarters, I like it, but uh, huh. I'll go to captain's quarters. Why not? Let's do that. All right, so those are the actions I, I'm choosing. So yeah, let's do it. Um, man the cells. We have two pirates in there, so First pirate, I'm going to resolve it. Uh, you know what, for clarity's sake, I'll flip the token once I uh, once I resolve the action from that pirate. This is actually a very, actually, a very good way to do this. Uh, uh, by accident, I've kinda, I've kinda figured it out. Uh, even though if you're playing multiplayer, you're gonna use these for infamy tracking, so you can't really use them for this, but th this is actually pretty efficient. So, uh, what am I saying? Uh, I'm just babbling here. Mend the cells, brawn plus one, then perform a brawn check. Okay, so for the first pirate, uh, I will actually use my supply. So it's going down to seven. Brawn plus one. Uh, so brawn, my first, uh, first space does not unfortunately have a star. So I'll just mark it here. And now we do a brawn check. So brawn plus one from our skill. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we got another 12. Fantastic, <laughs> I'm rolling good today. This is a good day, to, good day to roll. 12 plus one, that's 13. So reduce dial A by three. And infamy plus one. This is the, wow, this is what's perfect. Why? Because dial A goes down to one. And infamy plus one, that I only needed one to loop around, okay? So uh, this was fantastic, uh, this, this was fantastic. So I can now mark another space here on my sheet. There you go. All right, so that's two spaces. I didn't waste any infamy because I only had a, a plus one. So yeah, this was pretty good. All right, uh, what else? That's it, uh, man the cells once again. So we're basically going to do this in one single round. This is really nice, okay. So brawn plus one again. Now I will use another supply going down to six, sorry. And I will actually mark this. Now I do have a star on my second space. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So our infamy is gonna go up once again, very efficiently. And now I'm going to do another brawn sk uh, skill check, but now I have a plus two, okay? Because now we did uh, fill in two of the spaces on our brawn. So I only need a, to uh, set the dial, um, reduce it by one. So basically uh, it's a guarantee, but I, I would like a five or more just so I don't lose infamy here. It's a seven, okay, that's more than enough. Reduce dial A by two, no need. Uh, it was already at one, so bam, it's a zero. Fantastic, we really meant those sales. Really good. All right, so this action is completed. Both pirates did their stuff, their thing. Uh, now, action six, the captain's quarters. We'll fill in the next captain's quarters box on the ship log and read the entry. Uh, captain's quarters, we hadn't read any uh, yet. So this is entry 043. I'll scratch this and I'll place it on the app. If you see me go down here, it's actually my keyboard, okay? So uh, to change windows here, unfortunately, that's the best way I have. So 043. So here we go. 043, right? Right. Oh, I didn't say yar. Oh boy, something's bad gonna happen. Begging pardon, Captain. You say, knocking on the door to his quarters. I was hoping I could speak to you about this sailing past the ocean's edge business. Some of the crew be worried, Captain. Oh, stop you right there, me matey. He interrupts. 
Vance points to a group of books lying on the table. All these I swiped from the Mond family when I was a boy. They speak of the land of sunset, a world of unimaginable riches and magic. And everyone shares such similarities that I'm convinced they ain't just coincidence. But how do you know they ain't just stories, Captain? The captain sighs, as if he's explained this all before. I'll tell you what, me matey. You settle the crew down a bit, and I'll fill you in on some more. Once we have a moment to rest up on land. You nod and walk away, feeling no better, but you still do your best to calm the crew. All right, uh, so discontent minus one and we get a skill of our choice. So uh, these are actually pretty good to, to kind of customize our pirate a little bit depending on what we really want. So discontent minus one is good because it was at one. Now we can make use of it and go down to zero. And now a, a skill of my choice. Uh, I will go with navigation once again because there's a navigation check coming up with the sail action. So I'll scratch that. I'll, this is another star, so one, two, three, okay, infamy has gone up here, uh, sorry, has gone up here once again, uh, and that's it, so that was the captain's quarters, so on the app I'll just press done, okay, we're done, and let's go back here and do the final one, the sailing action, so sail is a navigation plus one, once again, I will spend my supply, and I'll get uh, my third navigation check, my third navigation, sorry, uh, mark here. So that's a plus three for every single navigation check, which is good because we're about to do one. Then perform a navigation check. So whatever I roll, plus three. So let's do it. Oh, that's not good. Four plus three, that's a seven. So infamy minus one. That's not good. Infamy minus one. It goes down here. You may spend three supplies and or hull to move the ship one space. Hmm. That's it. Three. So basically a combination of three allows me to move the ship. Oh, that's not good. Well, we need to keep get moving because the rough sea, rough sea is bad. Uh, so I will use one, two, two supplies in one hull. Okay. And I will move one space. So yeah, let's, let's do that. A uh, rough sea, rough sea is rough. Okay. We're moving here. We don't know where we're moving. So. I'm going to basically get another one of these random tokens. I'll choose this one, okay? And we are moving here. On to token 21. There we go. All right, that is it. Uh, navigation, perform a navigation check. Okay, that is the end of the round. Okay, we've done all actions. So now we're going to read uh, entry 804, which is the one for the end of this round. So 804, ER. All right, redo, uh, oh, threat plus one. Okay, not good. So we're at the threshold now. So if we, we don't do, do anything yet, uh, but if we get a, a notification on the app that says check threat, then yeah, we will have to uh, unfortunately read something uh, that will probably be not good. Okay, back to this. Uh, threat plus one, reduce hull, crew, and our supplies by the total of X. X is the value of dial A. Dial A is at zero, so we don't need to reduce anything. Fantastic. Starting with a player with the highest infamy, uh, each player with a constellation event token would read it. We don't really have one, so we can skip that. Did the ship move this round? Yes, it did, thankfully. So now we put the entry on the ship's new space, which is that little island we uh, drew with a ship in there. So there's another event probably coming up. Uh, and it is uh, token 21, so yar. Sailors curse as they race across the decks and prepare for battle. You were all so excited to find a port that you didn't notice the ship flying royal colors that was already there. 
Okay, remove navigation token 21 from the game and turn to page 55. All right, so I'm going to remove it. Basically, I'm taking it out, all right? Uh, and page 55, it, 55, is Hawkeye written on the ship's lock? That's what the app is asking me. So first of all, let me actually flip to 55 before I forget. Okay, that this is a bit of a problem, I believe, with continuity, because I think this happened, right? I, I'm not sure. Uh, so 55 is here. Is Hawkeye written on the ship's log? No, it is not. Okay, dial A to 5, dial B to 4. So let me go here, set dial A to 5, dial B to 4. Okay. Okay, done. All right, uh, and uh, let's go here. Okay, so now we've encountered this uh, frigate. We have uh, dial A represents the enemy's hull and dial B the enemy's cells. Destroy the enemy's hull if you want to sink them, take out their cells if you want to board them. Okay, uh, so boarding is kind of tough. Uh, you kind of have to take out the cells and then there's other, other stuff uh, to do. So it is not easy, I can tell you that much. Um, so let's look at the actions available. We can rally our crew, we can... Load some cannons, fire some cannons, gather debris, and escape. So I will actually try... Hmm. What will I do here? I guess I'll try and rally the crew. Escaping wouldn't be so bad right now. I'll be very honest. Dial A has a 5 right now. Well, I could just... Throw everything at him. That wouldn't be bad, would it? So, I I'm thinking either fire cannons or actually trying to escape. Oh, escape is only... I can only escape with one of them. So, here's what I'm going... Yeah, I'm going to go with both of these, okay? So, if, if the firing doesn't go well, I'll actually try to escape. Which is a free move, so that won't be too bad. Alright, so let's uh, let's go with that. So, resolving rally the crew, so swagger plus one, uh, then perform a swagger check. Our swagger doesn't really have a star, uh, so honestly, I don't think I'll pick this one up. Uh, I won't pick it up, so let's just rally the crew. So, perform a swagger check, I have swagger, I have a one, one swagger, so... I have a modifier, I have a plus one here. Oh my god, a 3 plus 1, that's a 4. So we only choose one rally option, unfortunately. Uh, we could get a reroll, uh, get a skill of our choice, choose another player, the player gets 2 rerolls, or reduce a dial by 1. Uh, I'll reduce reducing the dial or a reroll. What do I want? I'll reduce the dial, why not? Uh, I'll go with uh, dial A, actually. And I'll reduce it from 5, I'll reduce it to 4. Because sinking, I think it's more direct. Uh, if I go for the cells, then I will have to board them. That's another whole thing. So let's just sink them. I think it's going to be more efficient. We don't really have great cannons at the, time, at the moment. So drawing out the fight probably isn't the best idea right now. So that is rallying the crew. Okay. Now, we're going to go and fire the cannons. So first pirates... It, get, it gives us aim plus one, and I will take that aim plus one. I'll spend a supply, and I will fill in the first aim space, which has a star, okay? That means that our infamy goes and loops around, and that means <laughs> that we get to fill in another space here on our constellation. All right, looking good, okay? Hope you, you are able to follow along. It's fairly simple, I would say. Uh, so, aim plus one, then choose one of the following targets, enemy hole, Dial A or enemy cells. So I'm going to choose uh, dial A, okay? I'm going for the, the hole. Then uh, we perform a name check and before rolling you may flip one loaded cannon to its unloaded side to add its bonus. Uh, and I will. I will actually flip this loaded cannon. So that's a plus three. And I have 
plus one from my skill, so plus four in total. And I do have my clean gun sight, so that's even uh, another plus two. Uh, you can almost spot it, there you go. So that's three from the cannon, plus two, and plus one from the skill, that's a plus six. So whatever I roll, I get a plus six. So ho I'm hoping for a good one. Uh, got a four, okay, not a good one. Plus six, that's a ten. Uh, reduce target dial by one. Uh, bummer. So A goes down from four to three. Uh, what a bummer. Okay, so I would have to roll fantastically on the next one. Um, that might happen. Let's see. So the next pirate that is also firing cannons. Uh, aim plus one. Again, I'll spend a supply to get that other aim plus one. So now I have a two from the skill check and a two from the clean uh, gun sights. Oh, I can use my rainbow pearl here. I'll use it. Okay, I'm using my rainbow pearl. That means that I, I'll actually choose uh, the value of my die. Wait a second, that doesn't matter. Never mind. Yeah, that was dumb on my part. I need an 18, so I would need a plus 6. And I can't get a plus 6. Oh well, so no no rainbow pearl this time around. So we, I have a plus 4, so let's just roll it for uh, the other firing of cannons. Okay, I got an 8, that's okay. 8 plus 4, that's a 12. No, that's really on the limit. It's only going down by 1. So, the LA is at 2. Okay. I don't know if you can actually see it, but there you go. It's at 2. Uh, what else do you have to do? This is done. This is done. So, now we can... Oh, I'm going to try and escape. Okay. Oh, I, c I could have used the Rainbow Pearl to escape. I shouldn't have fired then, I guess. Yeah, I for completely forgot about it. Navigation plus one. Then perform a navigation check and subtract the total. Oh, we subtract the dial B. Okay, so dial B is at four. Uh, in order to escape, I would need a 17. And that's impossible to get. Because my nav uh, I only get a plus three to my navigation. Plus four. Yeah. Oh boy, this was really badly planned. Uh, so I'm not even going to roll because nothing happens. It's impossible for me to get a 13 because I'll always have a plus four to the die. Um, and so I can't get a 13. It's, it's impossible. But I will actually use my last supply here and I'll get that navigation, that uh, navigation mark here, which has a star. So that means one, two, three. I'm getting a bit more infamy, all right? So never mind, I won't uh, roll for this because it's impossible to escape. Completely, <laughs> very badly planned. All right, now it's the round end and I'm going to read entry eight to six. So let's head over to the app, eight to six, and let's go with it, yar. Did the ship move? Uh, no, it did not. Is the, yes it is, it's a, no, is it? No, no, it isn't. It's at two. Dial B isn't at zero either. So they attack. Yeah, they attack. Roll a die. Okay. Uh, now, now it's the part that's going down the drain. An eight. So they got an eight. That means eight to eleven. Oof. Reduce hull, crew, and supplies by a total of four and begin a new round. Okay. A uh, total of four. So I will use. Oh, I've got no supplies. So I'll use uh, oof, I'll use one, two crew and one, two hull, okay? And now I'll discard this treasure that uh, would give us uh, either two supplies or two hull. So I'll just increase my hull back to, from two back to four, okay? And this treasure is gone. All right, and then we begin a new round on this page. So basically we go, sorry, we go back to this. We have our four actions once again. Okay, so I am basically going to sync them. Uh, that's going to, to happen. Um, now I would love me to get, I would love to get me some supplies, which I think I will be able to here by gathering debris. So I will go here with this fellow. Uh, I won't risk it, risk it. I'll fire cannons uh, two times. 
and I will also actually I don't I, I could use my pearl here sure why not I'll go and rally the crew uh, yeah well, let's let's go with this so basically almost the same stuff except we are gathering some debris right now all right let's resolve these uh, rally the crew swagger plus one then perform swagger check I have zero supplies okay so I can't get any skills unfortunately so our swagger right now is at one so yeah that uh, that's uh, that's pretty bad so let's perform our check here five we got a five plus one that's a six again we only have one option uh, bummer 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 so I, I'm not going to take the uh, reduce the dial I'll take this uh, choose another player uh, that player gets reroll plus two. We can do this in solo. It's a bit of a cheat, but we can choose another player because uh, it's going to be us. So we get two reroll tokens. And these will definitely come in handy uh, when we do some rolls. Okay, now the first fire cannons. Aim plus one. Uh, I can't, unfortunately, get the, the skill, the plus one. Uh, so I will just do the, choose the following targets. I'm choosing... Uh, dial A. As you remember, we are going for the hull directly, so I'll just roll. I have a plus two from my clean gun sight and a plus two from my skill. So that's a plus four to my aim. I don't have any loaded cannons, unfortunately. So let's go with it. Plus four. Uh, got a three, plus four, that's a seven. Phew, thank God. Reduce target dial by one. Okay, so Dial A is going from a 2 to a 1. So we just need to hit the next shot and uh, we're good to go. That's that's great. So here we go. The We do have two reroll tokens here. So I think we're good to go. Uh, plus 4. Come on. It's a 5. Yes. Plus 4. That's 9. That means reduce target dial by 1. Once again. All right. Looking good. So this goes down to 0. And uh, that means his hull is toast they're going to they're going to sink most likely so finally we have the gather debris so it's a hunting plus one again i can't i can't take the skill perform a hunting check uh so do i want to actually use now my uh, rainbow pearl let me see if i roll more than an uh, 11 i can get to choose three gather options Yes, I will use my rainbow pearl right now because we're in a bit of a bad shape. We need supplies, okay? So I will use the pearl. I'll discard this. Uh, I'll say we rolled a 12. And that means that we can choose three gather options down below. Uh, we can get a reroll, a treasure or supplies, which we can get multiple ones. Uh, and I'm going to choose one of each. And uh, you will see why in a second. So supplies plus one. Here we go. Goes up. Treasure plus one, so I get to draw one treasure card. It is cash of supplies. This card to get supplies plus three. All right, there we go. And uh, so that's not fantastic. I, I really wanted ones that give me uh, increased skills, but oh well. And then I get another reroll as well. So I go from two to three reroll tokens. Okay, this is going to be very helpful for sure. Uh, that is it. Round end, read entry 8 to 6. So we're going to go and read entry 8 to 6 once again. So 8 to 6. Yar! Did the ship move? Nope. Is dial A at 0? Yes, it is. Let us aboard! Cries the enemy crew as their boat sinks. But you all grunt in disapproval. We have booze! They cry. Welcome aboard! You call back. All right, <laughs> fantastic. So they got boost. That's good. So crew plus two. That's good. The highest, highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Uh, it's, uh, th th there's something that's not very good here. Well, okay, so this is good. So going from seven to nine on the crew. But now we're going to move only one space. I really wanted to speed up the, the moving, but oh well, we didn't get the chance. So I'm going to, again, pick one of these random thingies uh let's go with this one uh zero ten this does not look good it looks like a big storm okay so we're moving here to zero 
10. Then read the entry listed on the new space. So it is 0, 10. Yar. Dark gray clouds roll in and cover the sky. Thunder rumbles and the wind intensifies. Sparks of light flash threateningly. Perfect! cries three-legged Pete. Come on, mateys, help me with this. Trust me, I've done it before. The crew helps Pete Perfect. load a cannon onto a rowboat and lower it into the water. What the hell are you doing? You cry. Trust me! replies Pete. There's no time to explain. Okay, I, I think I know his plan. He wants to have something made of metal, like a bit on the side of the ship, so that the lightning hits the cannon uh, outside and not our ship. So Pete is actually a smart fella here. So I'm going to let Pete continue with his plan. I think that's going to be actually pretty good for us. So here we go. The rowboat floats out into the approaching storm. Suddenly, lightning strikes it. The boat shatters sending the cannon down into the depths. As you watch the cannon disappear from sight, it is suddenly replaced by dozens of electrocuted fish floating up to the top of the water. Net him up, you cheer. Oh, okay, so it was even smarter than me. Jesus, he had a whole plan there. Fantastic, so we removed the vacation token 10 from the game. Okay, so this one's gonna go. We're still here in this space. Uh, and then we remove one cannon if able, yes, uh, so one of our level 1 cannons, we're going to lose it, okay, so we now only have one level 1 cannon, okay, uh, and then supplies plus 4, set dial A equal to the number of players, turn to page 11, check threats. Ah, oh, come on, not again. So, uh, supplies plus 4, that means we had 1, we're going up to 5, dial A, number of players, that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to turn to page 11 and we're going to check our threat. And that's not good. Because our threat. We're at rough seas once again. Jesus, can we get one, one cool, easy event? Uh, our threat is at two right now. So we will uh, basically we will have triggered the threat. That means that uh, we will have to read an entry. Uh, so the first threat entry here is entry 791, okay? So I, I'll mark that little, that first little square. And now we will have to read this, uh, this threat entry 791. We can't get a break here on the sea. Let's see what happens. A sickly looking parrot crashes onto the deck. The crew gathers around it, thinking it is surely dead. Oh! Oh, the poor little blighter. Blubber, sad Sally. Stop your weeping. Captain Vance chuckles as he pushes everyone aside. This here is me old parrot Flapjacks. And believe me, he will outlive us all. What is it, me boy? Flapjack jumps to life, rustling the sad patch of feathers on his back. Razor on the move. The parrot squawks. Razor coming for you. Coming for you all! The crew gasps, fearing what Captain Razor would do if he found them. Best get moving then! Captain Vance shouts. Okay, crazy parrot here. So, discontent pl plus one. Uh, so, this is gonna move up once again. Move special location token. There we go. Move special location token 962, one space towards the ship. So, he's coming for us. Uh, and then it asks us if the ship and that token are on the same space. No, they're not. Thankfully, they're still very much far away. So I'm moving this here. So Captain Vance is approaching, but still kind of far away. We're still pretty safe. Uh, no, we're not at the same space. We remove all threat from the threat track. Okay, great. So we are able to clear up all of this little threat here. So basically what this will do is probably move up Vance uh, closer to us. All right. Okay, so we're at rough seas again, everyone. Ah, uh, this is not good. Oh, I, I completely forgot to do the angry crew, hungry crew, didn't I, on the first one? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, uh, well, I'll do it now. I guess twice. I don't know. Let's just leave it like this. I have no idea what I had at the time. So I'll place the card here, so I don't forget now to do the hungry crew. Okay. So I'll place the card here and let's do the other ones, uh, the other four actions. Sorry for missing it uh, on the first time. You were probably all shouting there for me to resolve it. Oh, well. Okay. 
Uh, so I am going to, again, so manning the cells is, uh, this is very important. So let's do this. I will also, what will I do here? Uh, talk to the crew, does it? Nah. Net debris and we can go to the captain's, okay, we need to sail. So that's, this is something we always need to do. Uh, hmm. What, I, what, what will I do here? Will I net debris? Nah, talk to the crew. Or just, I'll go. I'm, I'm, I'm between this and this right now. I'll go to the quarters. Why not? Let's go to the captain's quarters. Sure, let's have a little bit of a, of a chat with our captain. Okay, so hungry pirates. Uh, so when the, uh, we don't need to choose it, instead the player will resolve the hungry crew action in addition to their chosen action, okay? So basically, I can choose when we resolve this. It could be here or here or it doesn't matter. So I'll probably do it. Uh, I'll probably do it here last. Yes. So let's go with, uh, yeah, I'll do it last. Okay, so let's go with this first. Uh, mend the cells, okay? This pirates are going to try to mend the cells. Brawn plus one, I will use a supply here to increase the brawn because we are good on supplies once again. So brawn, I get to scratch off one star. That means that one, two, three, I'm going to get some infamy here. We're very close to looping around once again. And now we're gonna have a brawn check. So we, I have three from my skill, but that is it. Now I do have three reroll tokens. So I'm hoping to, with those reroll tokens, uh, man, being able to mend the cells. We need, we need this uh, six or six or more. So I need a three on the die. That's all I need. We got a ten. Ooh, that's good. Ten plus three. That's thirteen. Oh, that's fantastic. That means that we get to reduce dial A by three and infamy plus one. Again, this is perfect. So this goes to one and infamy plus one loops us around and we don't waste any infamy. <laughs> this is looking good for us. So uh, we've looped around. That means that we get to mark one more of these. Okay. Next one, we get a, a constellation event, which is fantastic for us. All right, second pirate will uh, mend sails here. Uh, I will. I won't spend the supply. No, I won't. I I'll save this supply. Okay. So let's just have a nice little roll here for our brawn check. Uh, I only need again a three or more. No, I don't even need a three or more. I just need whatever. Doesn't matter. Got an eleven. Again, I would reduce the dial by three. And infamy plus one. Whoa, okay, so dial is go, goes to zero, and we also get one infamy. Nice little bonus here. Fantastic. Uh, now, captain's quarters. Um, fill in the next captain's quarters box on the ship's log and read the entry. So that is what I will do. Captain's, uh, captain's quarters. E read entry 44 right now. So let's go to the app. Let's, uh, let's read that. 